Hello and welcome to your video. Today we're going to take a look in a shorter video at Grumpig. Grumpig has now the new shadow version of it as well, so let's take a look at it. This Pokemon is, as expected, pretty horrific. This is going to be a tough one. Also, what is wrong with the Great League? Why does every single person basically that I faced today, at least it felt like that, had a lantern? Like, everyone had a lantern here, by the way. You saw the lag, that was also amazing. I have this all the time recently. I just freeze in the middle of the game for, like, I don't know, a second, and then it goes on again, but, like, I cannot hit my bubbles sometimes, which is really awkward. Don't know if you have the same issue, but, yeah, here it doesn't really look too good either but we can catch the move of course at our Grumpik here. Grumpik has fast moves like extra sensory and also the um, I think charge beam which is not good either. We will be able to at least hit one shadow ball here. They're going to of course shield this move up and we're completely in a horrible situation right now because what are we supposed to do here? We're going to be able to go for one cross chop here. We can let this move go through and I think I will be able to reach one charge move with my Noctowl still in time. But uh, yeah, like this. this is not looking too good. We will be able to go for one shield and we have to go immediately for the charge move here. Can we actually already win the first game with Grumpig? Can we even win a single game with Grumpig? It's going to be close. We see an Obama snow here. Does the Sky Tech actually knock them out? I don't think that like they will knock me out from this range yet. We will be able to go for some more fast moves. I think if we survive this, we win this game. Let's see. We will be able to go ahead and survive that and they still have another charge move and we lose by one HP. Okay, first game, so far, so okay, I guess. That was kind of an awkward one. We will see the next game. We're going to see a good lead for us. Galarian stun first, that's amazing. Kingdra, this is also key. I can get a shield advantage here with my um, Shadow Machamp. This should be pretty decent for me. And I can swap into my Noctowl. As long as I don't get debuffed here, I should be okay. Let's see, we can go for the Sky Attack. Let's go and let this move go through. It's going to be the Octazooka. We're going to get the debuff there, of course, because it's always going to happen when we play something spicy as well. Of course, we're going to put them now to range where I can go for another sky attack, but they outspeed me basically, or basically CMP tie here. Forcing me to shield, forcing me to, I don't know, like we have to go for the charge one. No, we would be able, of course, to farm them down otherwise still, but I thought I would be able to outspeed them, but we are not able to. They're going to throw in the charge move here immediately, basically, with the Aguilar and Stunfisk. I think they went three over and we see a lantern in the back again. I have no idea where all the lantern came from, but we will be able to go for one cross job against them. Gonna get them low to like half of their health and we try to catch the move on our Grum pick. Look at them jumping around. What a cool dancing pig here. Like if you ever saw like the animation, if you click on it in like your Pokedex or whatever, it's just dancing around, which is kind of funny, which you also see on the thumbnail. But um, we will be able to farm down here. I think this might be a win for us. Let's see. We will be able to go ahead and get to two cross chops here. This will definitely go through. Two cross chops should be enough to knock out the opponent's Galarian Stunfisk here, right? Let's see a cross chop coming through. This should be enough. And yeah, of course, it's the rise of the 1 HP again. Ah, my luck, my luck. It was not there this time. We have a horrible lead, but we have two good Pokemon in the bag. We're going to go into our Grump pick, trying to farm them all the way down. Let's see what they're going to have here in the back. I will be able to shield this move up. Hopefully, I would be able to realign, actually. And we see a Bastion coming in, allowing the opponent to go ahead and farm me all the way down. Because we, of course, don't have Focus Blast or anything like this. But um, we will be able to go ahead and go for one Shadow Ball here now. I actually don't know if it learns any other good charge move there. I don't think so. Like, it's actually the move pull really um, holds this thing down. Because actually this Pokemon has okay stats, it has like 2000 basically bulk or something, that's around what Tapu Fini has in the Great League. So um, it would have pretty decent bulk if it just had better attacks. Extra Sensory is by the way just a worse version of um, Confusion, kinda. It's a little bit faster in terms of the, um, yeah, like the animation itself, but... It just doesn't hit as hard and just doesn't... I think it doesn't generate energy as fast either. So, like, it's it's a pretty horrible move. There's not a single Pokemon that really wants to run extra sensory. I think sometimes you could run it on um, Lugia if you want, but Dragon Tail is just clear better. But I think sometimes people actually run that in some sort of restricted metas where, like, the psychic damage was nice or something like that. Don't know. But, like, yeah, Lugia I think learns it as well, but otherwise it's kind of horrific. We see the Azumarill here. They're going to swap out into the Venus, so that didn't work out for them. And we can actually hit the rock side here. This should be enough now against the Azumarill, right? Let's see, let's see. We actually won a game with our good friend Grumpig. That's insane. 
didn't expect that this would happen here today, but yeah, we will see here next game. Actually, pretty decent matchup for me right now. We see the Galarian Stunfisk, and now we see a Swamper coming in. Both Pokemon I can deal with. I will be able to go ahead and farm them all the way down and go for the swap into our Grumpig. It's basically just like a third shield for me here right now. They're going to actually throw another charge for me, which I'm going to shield up because I, I kind of want to farm them down here and try to realign my Pokemon, which I think is more important. I can go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball, but sadly, the opponent will be able to farm me all the way down now, which is an issue, of course. We get them at least around half health now. They can go ahead and they swap into a Pelipper. That's kind of sad for me. I thought they would try to go for the Earthquake. I would have rather kept my energy then, but um, we have to go now into our Noctowl. They can, of course, go for and charge move here. Most likely the Hurricane. And sadly, because I went straight into my Machamp, I wasn't able to swap immediately. And this might hurt us later on. Let's see, we will be able to knock them out here. We're going to see the Galarian Stunfist coming back in here. I'm going to let this move go through. We just have to try to farm them all the way down. This is all we need to do. We're going to be able to get another counter through. We should be fine here, right? We're going to see the Rock Side coming through. We need one more counter and they go for another Rock Side. But it's resisted. We should be able to survive that, right? Of course not. Again, it must be like 1 HP or something that I was missing to survive the move. We were just so unlucky the entire time. Next opponent, we see a Dunce Boss in the lead. One thing that I didn't know about Dunce Boss, but I guess my opponent knew, it was able to survive the Zero Shield there, which um, allows him to get one Drill Run off, which is fine for me. And we will be able to see now the opponent's Medicham coming in. I'm gonna go into my Noctowl. While my opponent gets a ton of energy and goes into their Bastion. Wow, we're going to see a Bastion a backline here with the Medicham. Something that's completely spicy, never seen that before. But um, we will be able to go ahead and go for one Shadow Ball as well here. This will be pretty archaish for us. At least we're going to be able to get them low enough. We're gonna to get to another Shadow Ball as well. And we hopefully can farm them down with the counter damage from our Machamp. And we might still have a decent shot here of winning this game. We will be able to go ahead, go for the shield here. Going to get the flamethrower against us. And we see the swap out, of course, into the Medicham. We have one move down on our Machamp. This might come in clutch later on. But now it's Grumpic time. As they go for one Psychic and they do half of my health. I guess it's not Grump pick time because there is nothing I can do about it. And they also have Power Punch and they can bait me with it. So, my only play here was to try to go for another Shadow Ball after this one. Trying to get both shields, trying to go for one move with my Machamp. But actually, they're just going to get to another Psychic here. And this game is just straight up over. Then I can just forfeit immediately. Next opponent, Dragonair against us, as we will be able to go ahead and go for one Cross Chop here. We'll hopefully do some nice damage against them as well. But um, they're going to shield this move up, of course. We're going to go into the ground pick. This should be an okayish matchup. We already put them to half of their health. I can just go ahead, let the body slam go through. Never mind. Like, we're just going to get so much damage here. Holy hell. The issue is, um, I most likely should shield that because usually they run Bastion plus Medicham on the back with this team. So um, that's at least what I'm expecting here. I will be able to farm all the way down and we see the Bastion coming in. I can go ahead, uh, throw one charge move here. I can swap out into my Medicham. And they don't have the Medicham in the back, they have a Deoxys in the back, which is arguably worse even, but hey, that's cool. Next opponent, we will see a uh, half decent deed actually. I think my champ I win the two shield scenario just because my counter damage adds up enough to knock them out. We will see the cross chop coming through here from me as we will be able to shield up the opponent's move as well here. I'm going to try to catch the next move I think, but nope, they're gonna go into the Pidgeot. Allowing me to go for one cross chop here, allowing me to go hopefully get the final shield by the opponent, and I can swap out now into my Grumpig, trying to take some moves here. They have to go for a Brave Bird to knock me out, and they're actually gonna go for the Feather Dance. Can Grumpig actually reach the Psychic in time? It can, and Grumpig will be able to finally knock out a Pokemon here. Goodbye, Pidgeot! Feels so good to actually finally knock something out with that Pokemon here, but. Um, we will be able to take this move here as well. They didn't over farm too much, allowing me to even get more F farm here, but they're actually going to have another Noctowl in the back. This is a team that I showcased before, Swampert double flying, but not today for them, as we will be able to go ahead and go for our own Noctowl. We can take two Sky Attacks from the opponent here. They don't have enough farm to really get to three anyway, so I'm going to over farm up to two moves here, just saving my shield as well and going for two sky attacks now. One will knock out the opponent's Noctowl, one will knock out the opponent's Swampert, and we actually will be able to win two games with Grumpig. That's insane. That's actually more than I ever expected because this thing is so horrific and also like my champ actually had a lot of bad matchups. I didn't expect it to be that bad because if you look on paper or whatever, my champ right now looks like such a good Pokemon to use in the Great League. 
but seems like not for me. We will see a horrible lead again and we will see a swap that I don't really want to see here. At least I'll get that out here, I guess. This was also the main reason why I used my champ in this team. Basically trying to bait out the potential dark types because they have literally nothing to do with the ground pick with against dark types near. I think the team itself also does a lot, a lot of sense what I have here, but still doesn't really help me. I'm going to actually go ahead and let this move go through. It's going to be a foul play. I can go into my mid champ. I try to farm all the way down. I will get hit by another charge move. They have, of course, like one HP left again. That's basically a, a common theme in this video so far. As we see now, the opponent's Deox is coming in. I can go into my ground pick, and we will see a muck in the back. Who is playing alone in muck right now? <laughs> like, holy hell. Another horrible lead here for us. Many chill against us. Again, it's going to be also the last game for this video. I don't really want to make this video too long because, yes, it's spicy. I have some more um, games as well where I lost like completely crazy because I just got rps as well. I just cut most of them out of the way. But, um, yeah, this is not really something I could recommend you. I don't think Grumpig ever going to be able to be good either. So, like, it's not really something that you should invest in. But it's just a fun showcase for today because Great League going to end today. We're going to have Ultra League later on. Do your Great League builds if you want to. I'm still going to try to make a video about the Ultra Premier Cup, but it might be a little bit late. I have to see. I have some more stuff going on today. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you give a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in the next video.